Hello guys and welcome. Part 13. Um, man, it was quite a long time since I last played. Hello Karen. I have Karen here with me. I decided to give him well, this stealth suit that I had. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. Just need to change my mouse settings a bit. Uh, what was I doing? Yeah, I think it's been like a little bit over two weeks since I last played. Um, what? Oh god! What no. do you need? Oh my god, Karen! You piece of shit! Uh, let's see, was it 8 that I had? Alright, yeah. <coughs> well, while Karen is doing shit, um, let me show if I remember uh, some things that, you know, let's just do that. Uh, God. I think perks. I didn't know, no, it's not perks. Is it status skills? Here we go. Um, I did put some points into lockpick, so I now have 97 lockpick, I guess. So I can just put on, you know, if I want 100, I guess put on a suit and then get 100. Or maybe I'll just put one lock, one point into lockpick here and there, you know. And I have 96 science, so I almost have 100 on both of these. And I decided not to give Karen a power armor because, I don't know, I want... I don't know, like, I don't feel like he, I want him to have it. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, shit. Well, that's a good start. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck is happening? Alright, well... Um, I've not actually <laughs> used Karen a lot. While I was doing all this shit, I decided to not use Karen. Um... So I had no idea if you were good or not, Karen, but yeah. So I did give him a bunch of stim packs, I gave him the Recon armor. Apparently he had a Magnum as well. Oh well. We're alone again. Okay. But that is interesting, I did not know uh, companions could die like that. Uh, because I know in like Fallout 4, I think, maybe companions can die. But man, is it hard. Same with New Vegas, actually. Like, what, wait, what happened? Oh. Yeah. <coughs> what tended to happen is that your, your teammates, they go down on their knees. And then, maybe they can die. Um, so seeing that he died right there, as I was talking about, ah, you know what? I don't want to give him, you know, a power armor just because, you know, I don't think it would look the best. Maybe I should have given him. But you know what, I don't think Karen is a person that should have power armor, actually, all things considered. Um, so I learned something. <coughs> God. I really don't wanna... 
I mean, I'm recording this 0927 at the 15th of January. Oh god. Alright. So that is actually to trick you. Okay, it said stealing. Oh, wait. If I press. Ah, oh, there we go. Hello, Pinkerton. The Journal of Medicine. I think I needed a crutch, or maybe a medical brace, for something I want to build. Let's just sneak while we can. Oh, hello. Yeah, I think a handbrake is also what I wanted. And pilot lights. I'm just taking random shit that I think I might need. Not that I might need. Well, no, actually. That is exactly what I mean. Hello, hello, Pinkerton. Yes? Can you give me the true history? How the hell did you get in here? Hmm. <coughs> I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. I mean, you look younger than I thought. Oh, okay, his facial reconstruction. Uh, let's see. Let's ask him about history. What? I have better things to do than yak about those back... I hear you're the only one to know the truth. <coughs> um, uh, what should we say? Let's say that. Ha. Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. But you can set the record straight. Yes. For that... You have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute <coughs> cleared the mire. We were looking for new... Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna skip ahead. That last... So, uh, Project Purity. Let's ask about evidence. Of course I do. Okay. Here. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the re All right, we have the histo historical records. Who cares? It's some hydroponics pipe dream that le Apparently, though, my teams cared more about it than they did about little things like defense systems, treacherous ba- What do you see? Hey. Well, let's see. What are you doing here? I live here. It's where I do- you made it. All right, Pinkerton. Oh, nice. Here's the workbench, so I can see what I actually need. What the fuck? It's red. I don't think workbench should be red. Alright, the railway rifle. I need... Oh, I have two crutches. Steam gauge, fission, pressure cooker. Okay. Shish kebab. Gas tank, lawnmower blade. Okay, so I need gas tank. Oh, I already forgot what I needed. Steam gauge, fission battery. Alright. 
Man, I saw some fishes. Fishing batteries. Down here. Oh. You won't get away with that. Sure. Let's see, that's a conductor. What the fuck? There we go, fish and battery. Was it a gas tank? No, no, it was something else, like a gouge something. God damn it. Hopefully. Oh god, Pinkerton. If I was, Is F10? No, that's not. Okay. <coughs> god, I'm having like. Oh no, am I all the way up here? Don't even think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's see. Okay, nothing interesting on you. How does the fit? Okay, so that's the most efficient battery looks like. Oh, and I'm overcumbered somehow. Oh, well, I did pick up a bunch of shotguns, so. <coughs> oh, poor Karen, you died for this. So I have no idea. And I mean, I spent 2,000 caps on you as well. Oh, okay. So is this like a way to farm experience, maybe? Oh, well. The w and what I did to level up was that I just ran... Um, through and just found, you know, different things, like locations. Uh, basically, what ended up happening is that I just killed a bunch of random super mutants. <coughs> Morning. Morning. <sighs> Uh, let's see. But yeah, also, I did read the comment that you left Lazuli. It was about, you know, Harken or whatever. And the thing is that, yeah, I did actually know that it was about the... Uh, what's it called? Uh, the android and all that. I just didn't care. Like, I'm like, ah, I'm not gonna you know, sell that out because I really don't want to um, do that storyline. I just want it to basically disappear. So I thought, oh, maybe this would be a way to finish that story. But And I did get the railgun schematics from it, so. Damn it. Let's see here, maybe. No. There we go. You know what? Since we can do this stuff, let's steal from this girl. Warns is one. Wood. Warn. It could be you. Nope. Okay, there's only two left, so... But it cannot be holes, because... No, no, wait. 
It said that the Warns had one out of five. But what does Warns and... Oh, the S. I'm stupid. I was like, they don't have anything in common, Holes and Warns. Welcome, Moira. Store inventory. Okay. <coughs> China may be fictional. Research assistance. All right. Yes, if defang, declawed, and lobotomized. All right. Oh wait. You should probably leave, you know. All right. Uh, let's just wait seven hours. Junk is my business. I know. Any luck finding out how Rivet City got? Uh, left searching a lot. I got a real history. Aha! <coughs> Not just as easy as asking around, was it? Good information. So. All right. They began as a successful science station, and traders settled around it. Okay. All right, let's say this. This began as a research station. Hmm. With the protected location and resources that came from those scientific advances, I can definitely see how it grew so quickly. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Yep. Speaking of which, in thanks, have a few of these. For the next time, you've got to be quick on your wits. Okay, so she's oh, gonna give and me the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. You'll get a discount buying gear from them in the future. Oh, okay. All right, so you, now you get like, uh, let's see. I've got to do a section on working with old computer <coughs> electronics. So there's some research to be done in the old. Also, there used to be a big library out there, and that'll be it. Uh, using old technology sounds interesting. It does. Now that would be... Uh, let's see. What's it worth to you? Well, you'll be getting access to an army of robots. It does. Yeah. Fiddle with any... Uh, I haven't been over there well. yet. Alright. Let's see, can you repair anything? But yeah, I picked up this tri-beam laser rifle from someone that I killed, and I think I missed the launcher as well. Jesus Christ, alright, I actually had some stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me sell the laser pistol, why not? God, maybe I shouldn't actually record now because fuck, I'm like, I can tell that I'm not really like in it. Oh, wait, no, I meant to sell five and keep one. Apparel. Mm. Uh, 
Hey, there we go. Good hunting. Well, not necessarily. I want to see what. Okay, you don't really have. Uh, do you maybe have? Yeah, they have a steam gauge assembly. I need that. And got was motorcycle blades. You don't have that. No, but at least you have this, so accept. Good hunting. <coughs> okay, so what do I need now? I need a pressure cooker and a gas tank and lawnmower blade. Did you have a gas tank? Fiddle with any interesting tech. Uh, let's see. Gas tank. Motorcycle gas tank. No, you do not. Alright. And I do kind of want to get this game over with. I think I'm starting. Uh, maybe it's more along the lines of my like. My fall, there's a camera. No, that's not a camera. I thought it was a camera first. It's a light. Uh, like my fallout. Like. Um, why can't I speak? What? Uh, my fallout fallout is like going down kind of like want to get this over with like the two things that i want to my goal for this game is to do obviously the main quest and the survival guide the rest uh, don't really care that much for so let's see where is this oh all the way over there And where's the main mission? Oh, right there. <coughs> so I'm actually... Oh, hello. Oh, I forgot to switch. Uh, my outfit. So I basically have z zero def defenses at the moment. There we go. Let's walk with the sniper rifle out. Oh yeah, I remember like saving some woman in this place. Like over there. Uh, when I played by myself, you know, just leveling up. That's when I found this place as well. Just for the experience. Yeah, and then she died right here, okay. I remember that. That was like two weeks ago. Um, wait. I think I need to be up here. Hopefully the audio is good. I mean, it looks fine on OBS, but... I know it's been a little bit weird. Wait, what? How do I get in there? Yeah, 
Yeah, because it's gated off. Oh no, I'm confused, like... Do I need to go through the piping? That's what it seems like. Or can I just crouch my way in? Okay, and there's an invisible wall right here. <laughs> That's good. And here. What the fuck? Yeah, this game really loves these invisible walls. Jesus. Wonder why they would put an invisible wall right there. Um, it tells me that if I'm correct with the pipe, there's probably something like important to the story that they want you to experience and they don't want you to be able to skip it. Well, let's take a dive after I take one of these. Uh, not Medex, Radex. Let's dive. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, nope, it is. Nope. Holy shit, almost died. Alright. fuck do I get in there then? Or maybe it's not that pipe, maybe there's some other pipe. Alright, let's start checking. Is it here? Nope. Okay, I thought it said something special. Not there either. No. Okay, so it's not going through the pipes. Um, must be someplace else. Oh, someone is dead here. Okay. <laughs> Oh, maybe, okay, maybe this. Have I been here? I don't remember this, but there's a bunch of dead bodies. Oh, hello. Nice. Okay. And there's some security system going off. Okay, I did get the sneak attack off.
And they are also attacking the... Oh, come on, turrets. I'm on your side. Wait, did you throw a grenade? Come on. Where are you? Oh, whoops. You have a lot of HP, so... You are not the super mutant I was thinking of. Uh, come on, mysterious stranger. Come and help me. Uh, or not. Did not need your help, anyways. <laughs> I mean, the squib effects are pretty funny. Seeing them turn into a, a red mist. The Jefferson Memorial. Okay. Both the doors lead to this place. Oh. Is that its acid or is it just puke? Okay, it must be inside this place. Or inside this attraction. Oh, nope. <coughs> nice. So actually shooting at their hands seem to be pretty good. Because, I mean, you do, you know, disarm them. Oh, Project Purity. Nice. Well, before I listen to it, I want to check to see. Are there any more? Oh, wait, there's someone inside. Ah, oh, it's, it's a statue. Alright. Probably of Thomas Jefferson. Number ten. There we go. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of bronze that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. That's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Like, oh man, we're so close. Is the missing puzzle piece. All right. Let's see, number eight. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. 
But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. Uh, I did some digging but number 10, 12 vault, 112 was. 112. I'm no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does this oh. remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, hollow tapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. Well, we'll see. Oh, there is something hostile down here. Is it more super mutants or is it my lurks? Looks like more super mutants. Oh, damn. Okay, wait, let me get my mine out. I mean, I do have some mines. Um. <coughs> Not pulse mine. Didn't I pick up like a cap mine? Okay, I guess I didn't. You know what, let's try out this try and beam laser rifle. How does it work? Oh, okay, it's just a, it's just a, like a normal rifle that shoots three shots at one time. Give me your ammunition. Um, God, I have to be on the lookout for some of these things that I need. Because I do want to create the railway item or the shish kebab. Want to try it out once at least. Oh, nice, some more Project Purity stuff. Okay. Let's take, let's do better days first. That batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow. So is this Dr. So Lee? James, please. Trying to work. I know it's our mom. Not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to James. Stop. I need to finish these notes. <laughs> Unless we'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should. Ow, James. Now we really shouldn't. <laughs> Unless our dad. Oh, wait, it said medical notes. Wait, what? Oh, metal cooking pot. Wait, didn't I need that? Yeah, I think maybe I needed something like that. A metal cooking. No, pressure cooker. Okay. Uh, let's see. Intercom? Nope. Can we activate this? No. Okay, yeah. 
We've spent that time in Vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe. And that's all I could have hoped for. Now, my son is a grown man. Handsome, intelligent, and confident. <laughs> Alright, thanks, Dad. He's an old man. <laughs> and as hard as it was to admit it, he doesn't need his daddy anymore. So you're back to do Project Purity. So, here I am, back where it all began. Project Purity. God, we wanted to change the world. We really thought that waters of life could be a reality. And that's why this is a momentous occasion. Because even after 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operation. Oh, shit. Just... <laughs> uh, just go for his left arm. Nice. All right, number two. This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running, but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. That will serve for now, but I need help powering up the mainframe. Time to visit Madison at Rivet City. Hmm. Madison, Rivet City. What's that? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. So Madison is. Um, Dr. Lee, I guess. It isn't our mom, right? Yeah. So this bed days was our mom. I thought that uh, maybe that was Dr. Lee and Madison was our mom. I spoke with and Dr. it was kind of like our dad was Madison. cooking our mom. City. Dr. Lee and Madison, well yeah. I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? She's got her own life, her own team, and is making real, tangible scientific progress. Here I come again, the very paragon of failure and false promises. But the reality is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she may have assembled. I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. And without Catherine... Catherine was her mom's name, or... I can't let this die. Not again. Not like this. And there's number four I don't have, actually. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a vault -like facility, after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So... One night, after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. All right. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. But he was a celebrity in his day. Voltex and sorceress. Yeah, but why was his name, you know, in Vault 101? Technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex social preservation program, and his work on something called Gek, the Garden of Eden creation kit. Ah, all right. So that is what it stands for. Oh wait, here you know. Terraform. Wasteland. I got it. What the fuck is this? So was there another way to be able to get in here? 
Yeah, because I think this is what I accidentally saw when I clipped through the pipe. Yeah. Oh no, it didn't clip through. It actually is open. Oh, I can't use this now. Oh, and wait, can I fast travel from here? Please let me fast travel from here. Uh, is there any other notes? Nope. World map. Uh, let's see. No, we can't. Damn. Alright. I mean, I have recorded for 45 minutes, I think. I will end this right here. Uh, because, man, I thought I would be able to do like a decent recording, but well, obviously, it did not end up being that way. Uh, even though I do know that some people said like they don't really care that much, you know, but I don't know. For me, playing in this state. It, it 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 is like a little bit annoying for me. Um. So what I'll will be doing before next time um, I record, I'm gonna go to the Robco facility. I mean, I've been here, I guess. Smith's house. I don't remember this. Wait, let's see. Is this where the kid with the ants were? Alright, let's... It is not, because... I haven't lockpicked this place. <laughs> Maybe I couldn't have lockpick it, obviously I didn't have 100 lockpick. Oh Jesus Christ. That scared me. Wait. Hmm. Okay, this looks like maybe a cannibal. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Would be like a serial killer, but I think it's more along the lines of it's some cannibal. To the Smiths. All right. Greetings again, sweet America. This is President John Henry Eaton, and I'd like to chat if you've got a moment. We live in an age of poverty, greed. Hello. Anyone home? No. All right. Hey oh. there, stranger. I've got something that I want to talk to you about. I couldn't help but notice that you're poking around in my basement. Hmm. So be honest now. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Uh, I almost got a snack while I was there. Uh, let's say that. You're right. It sure would have. You know, you're a breath of fresh air. Every time someone discovers our little secret, we have to hear about it. It's always, oh, how can you do this for? <laughs> You're such terrible people, or please not me. I have a kid in Rivet City. Well, I have kids too. Family first. That's the way it works in Andale. From the day that the first four families decided to stay here. You're not bad, stranger. 
Stop on by any time and ask Linda for one of her special meat pies. Oh, okay. And Dale, greatest. Yep, there's no better. Oh, okay. Hey there. Hello. So because I succeed in that, don't have to kill these well, people. Hello there. Why, hello there. I heard there was someone new coming. Oh, well. Are you joking? All right. Nothing special well, for you. Oh, hi there. Welcome to Andale. I'm Willie Wilson, though folks just call. We're Mine's just, you know. Who we the, uh, the, you know, the average American family. Family first, you know. Watch it, will you? Husband and wife and two kids. It's perfect. White fences. Oh man. Oops. Hello. Who are you? What? How? How did you get in here? <coughs> what are you doing in this town? Get out! Slow down, Grandpa. What's wrong? What's wrong? You don't see anything wrong with a quiet little town full of friendly people in the middle of a blasted wasteland? Well, I already know that they are, you know, cannibals. No. Well, yes. But it's all a trick. Don't you know anything? Did you just crawl out of a vault or something? Yes. Just about everyone in the wasteland knows to avoid Andale, and they're right to do it. People wander in here, and they don't wander back out. I'll be careful. You should. What? You don't believe me? Just look in the basements, or out in the shed. Get out. All right, so he is someone who's, I guess, been in this place. Maybe even before the cannibals. Okay, nice. The force lock worked. So I guess it didn't matter which basement you went into. Wilson's house. The very seat of the federal government, Washington, D.C., has been reduced to what is now known as the Capital Wasteland. The Capital Wasteland. Oh, hello, Junior Smith. You're new here, aren't you? Wow. I've never got a chance to talk to the new people. Dad always takes care of them before I get a chance. What do you mean by that? It's really quite simple. The same things that all parents do. My mom cooks, they work in the basement. Or sometimes a Mr. Will. It's that. It's swell, except I, he keeps saying stuff to my mom about keeping the family going and how when him and Mr. Wilson were brothers. That, it's weird. That means Mr. Wilson is my uncle and Jenny is something. <laughs> I mean, keeping it in the family, right? I mean, I guess you don't really have. Many options, right? The you, my darling America, it's a good in, instead of a tree, it's a circle. All right, hello, Jenny. Hey there, Mister. You need something? I've heard of you. You're one of the good guys. Sure. I said. Yeah. What do you want? Okay, we cannot speak to you. Is it because it's night? Is that why? I mean, I was planning on ending this, but actually walking in here rejuvenated me a little. Ooh, we smell that air. And... Oh. That old kidder? Whatever he's saying, he's just pulling. Alright, I have to go now. Good to Yeah? Well, Dad always was a bit off his rocker. <coughs> oh, 
Oh dear, I let that slip, didn't I? He used to be. Until I got married. I, I can't... Hmm. Well, Mr. Harris does not smell funny, but... All right. So maybe that's why they are not, they haven't killed him. Hello, will you say something now? Not supposed to talk to strangers. Well, I'm one of the good guys, right? Hi. I wish I was like you. Is that yours? Well, it could be. All right. Well, before I go in there, I actually want to check out. Um, the meat pies. I I've heard they're delicious. Man, I feel like super slow. Alright, hello. Good to see you. Hello, Linda. Well, hello. Welcome <coughs> to Andale, winner of the best town in the <laughs> oh, best town in the US. Why thank you. What? Uh, just some pie? Oh. All right. Has he been spreading his stories again? Poor guy. I'll just have to have Jack give him a talking to. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Harris. It's the best little... T hey, Str Hey there, good to see you again. I work to feed my family just... Why a man that can't keep his family fed isn't... Oh, old man Harris? He said you were all crazy killers. Let's just be completely oblivious, because I think this, this would be funny. Did he now? Every time he does... Um, before I go into the shed, I'm gonna talk to Harris now and be like, do I have anything new to say to him? Like, oh, sorry. Get out of town while you still can. All right. I mean, he's a good guy, old man Harris. Come on, kid. Oh, well, hello there. Good. Don't look at me. I don't think that belongs to you. God damn it, the child is in the way. Let's do 19 hours. There we go. Okay, and when I when I do level up, I'm gonna put until I get a hundred lockpick, so I don't need to, you know, switch back and forth. And let me look at the strange meat pie. Actually, then look at it. Nom 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 nom. Let's eat it. Oh, it tastes delicious. I wonder what it is. Oh, nice. Okay. Can get some rippers here. Oh, a lawnmower blade. That's what I needed. Okay, nice. Okay, I guess that's pretty much it from this place. Just a place of, you know, cannibals.
which seems that which seems to that they do have a reputa reputation. So I mean, probably keeps them safe as well. What is this? A yaogwai? Oh, it's one of these bear things, right? Yeah. Relatively easy, actually. So you know what? Let's go on this journey together. To the Robco building before I end. Hello, is this like a drive-in cinema? Oh. Okay, you're a raider. Come on. Oh, damn. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is that car gonna explode? Oh, Jesus Christ, and there was a mine as well. Come on, reload and kill him. Nice. Go to bed. Did you have an SMG? Yes. Okay, I mean, I assume this is like a drive-in cinema, judging by all the cars and that thing. I've never seen one in real life, but I've seen it in like American, uh, um, you know, shows and stuff like that. Are you, yeah, you're another reader. Zero damage with a sniper rifle. I oh, managed to make him run away. So I guess actually if you shoot their gun away from them and then pick it up, they won't be able to pick it up again. Uh... We have some brotherhood people. Great, here's some of the local wildlife. An outcast. Ah, all right. It, will you? No time to talk to your type, Loco. Oh well. That flashlight is not helping a lot. It's a raider outpost. Hmm. Oh, okay, I thought it was the... Okay, I didn't think of Raider Raider. I thought like it... I don't know why I thought of those, like... Um, outcasts, you know. And this was their hideout. An outcast hideout. Nice. Oh. Yeah. That looks like a trip mu trip wire. Which I just triggered, but it should be fine. Oh. 
Oh, okay, I thought that when I fixed something, that it gave me, you know, extra ammunition, uh, but no. I just picked up some extra ammunition. These raiders are pretty intense. They will probably fit in in Andale, maybe. Ah, uh, no, not really. Andale are civilized folks that just eat other humans, you know. But these are uncivilized folk that seem that probably eat other humans. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Things are just exploding everywhere. Oh yeah, I forgot the Lincoln rifle. The Lincoln rifle, I think, is... I guess they are so used to gunfire that they just didn't care um, that me and that guy was having a shootout. They're like, ah, you know, two two people fighting over like a pack of cigarettes. Oh wait, I saw that thing I saw a pressure cooker. Yes, I did, nice. Alright. Let me take all your food. I ran into a trap. But if you just keep running, that's fine. Outrun the trap. Come on. Nice. That was the lookout guy that I was fighting. Damn. How many lockpicks do I have left? Okay, 34. That's good. Some darts and spikes. Oh, I'm assuming level 19, so... Alright, yeah, this seems to be very well protected, so... Like a ton of mines. Oh. I'm hearing people fighting. Okay, a mercenary. That's interesting. Uh, 
Uh, as you know, since I think both of no, okay, both of them did not have a flamer. I thought, ah, you know what? There's two flamers. Let's pick both of them up and then use a flamer for a little while. Okay, now we're... Oh, okay, so that's probably why they have so many mines. Since this is like the Yaguai cave. Jaguars are decently easy. I mean, I assume they probably do a lot of damage, but I mean They don't seem to have the best damage reduction Which leaves them vulnerable I don't think, yeah, hello. Nice. Oh god. Less nice. <laughs> Just flying meat. I don't even know why I'm in this place. I'm planning on going to the robot area. Alright. Well, I guess I'm getting a, a decent amount of meat from this. Like healing stuff that also gives me a damage boost, so. Oh god. Can we get the mysterious stranger? Nope. Oh man, that was close. Let me do a quick save. Bunch of corpses. Oh, a nuke grenade schematic. Okay. So I got a schematic out of this. I assume that's probably what you will get from. Nice. I can just walk up here. Um, which way is that? Okay, over there. Nice. Damn, I'm overcumbered. I also have a missile launcher and I never used it, so. You know what? Let's use it. The first enemy I see, I'm using the missile launcher. So the mercenaries, maybe the mercenaries were hired by the raiders. They were like, you know what? 
but okay. Kaboom. Oh. Okay, so this is another place. So I wonder where this will lead me. Okay. That's cool. There are more than one entrance into that. Oh. And that is where the... Uh, what's it called? What I assume is a drive-in. Okay, let's see. Will we hit? Kaboom! Okay, we seem to have did some crippling on it. So maybe that is what it's better, f like, is used for. It's a good way to cripple things. Nice. I mean, since we have like a caution thing. I mean, I can see that Yagwai over there, but... Can I hit it? Okay, yeah, it actually says that I got critical strike on it, so... Fuck. Stupid mole rat. Yeah, like, go for the Yagwai first. <sighs> yeah, I've also gained a fuck ton of weight. Um, I'm up in 104 kilos again. So in one month, basically one and a half months, I went from 97 back to 104. Fuck. So almost all the weight I lost last year, I'm almost regained. I was 110, went down to 97, and now I'm 104. And this is the bad thing, like, if you're gonna be fat, it's better to... I guess stay consistent fat instead of losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight. You're gonna lose weight, you're gonna lose, you should lose weight. Oh, this looks like a hotel or something. Uh, I'm just gonna get close to it to get the waypoint, but I'm not gonna do anything, you know. Nope, no waypoint. Seem to be a fuck ton of people here though. Roy Phillips. Oh, okay. Looks like it's another ghoul area. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's a Robco facility, but... Those were robots. 
with what looks to be like a trader or something. Hello? Another glorious day in this man's army. Hello, Tinker Joe. You lost one of your Mr. Handies. Another glorious day in this man's army. Tinker Joe, do you want to talk? Hello, stranger. I'm Tinker Joe. I'd like to buy a robot. I'm afraid these bots are all spoken for. <coughs> I'm just delivering. Well, RL3's a bit finicky. You might be. Uh, well, I would like that finicky robot, actually. I don't mind a finicky robot. Uh, let's see. Let's sell the metal cooking pot. And a teddy bear, why not? Just to, like, get it out of my... Inventory and the flamer. Other than that, I think I'm pretty happy with what I have. The fragments. You know, let's sell the fragment. Oh, I, I cannot sell all of them. Let's just sell one. No, no, no. Accept. A pleasure doing business with you. I'm afraid... Well, rl 3s a bit finicky about the company he keeps. And I don't think he likes the look... Okay. Another glorious day in this man's army. Oh, uh, maybe... Is that because of my karma, maybe? Like... If you have, like, a certain karma, maybe that guy would be with you? That's why I assume is the case. Because I have like good karma, I guess. Maybe he doesn't like that. Alright, well. Gonna end this episode right here. Uh, it was a long episode, but man, I don't know, my brain, like it's pounding. <laughs>